What's up everybody? It's me. Um, you can't really see me that well. Can you see me? That's a little bit better. I am on my way to the hospital to get some to get a prescription written out for me to get the antibiotic that I need to get rid of this tooth infection so that I can hopefully get it pulled. And I just it's literally like a mile, maybe not even that up the street from where I live, one of our hospitals. And I know they're not gonna let me vlog when I get in there. So I'm vlogging now. I'll be a little bit more upbeat when I get back to the crib because then that's when we're gonna do our walkthrough of my new place. So um, yeah, so let me get in here. It's about 5.50 p.m. right now, Eastern Standard Time. I'm getting a little hoarse. Got my coffee from the from the little cafe up the street. I love this neighborhood. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead into urgent care and be seen and then I will hit y'all when I'm out, okay? Yeah. What's up everybody? So I am finally made it in the hospital and I just met with the nurse and um, she took a look at it and she was like, yeah, it's decayed. It's definitely like infected and you have a hole in the bottom of the tooth so your nerve is exposed. It's like it's really bad. I just put some aura gel on it so I don't feel that much pain right now. But aura gel only lasts like 20 minutes and then it's the constant throbbing again. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wait for her to come back because she should be back any second and I'm not allowed to vlog in here. So I'll see y'all when I find out something. I'll see y'all in a minute. Um. Homegirl still up in this hospital waiting to be met with and my cheeks as red as I'll get out. What is this? God, I'm gonna need you to work this out because this is very embarrassing and I do not know why for the life of me my cheeks is so red. And my tooth hurts. Can I get an amen? What's up Aggie Nation? Alright, this is my walkthrough. I don't have my Canon G7X, so I can't like flip the camera back and forth. So you see me and then you see the place. So I'm going to give a walk through. You don't see me, but you hear me. Whew, Lord Jesus. Okay, now I'm not finished. Before I start, I'm not done. I have a ton of stuff that I have not even freaking put out yet, like home decor. But let's just go ahead and start. So this is the living room. I actually did that. That's my Fendi board. I did that. I'm trying to get the whole room so you can see everything. Okay. There's that. Those right there. You can't see. That right there. Those boxes. My father passed away in 1999. And those were some cigar boxes. They're like antique. Like they're really old. Okay, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to show everybody. So then this is this. This is Mommy's gas electric fireplace. It's really beautiful and huge, but you really can't tell that much from this point. I know I got cords going everywhere. Mom, Mama, I said Mom. I'm actually going to paint those cords white so they blend into the wall. That's the home dehumidifier, the flat screen. These are some um, film reels that I got at a um, collectible store. They are incredible. We'll get to that later, okay? This is my sofas right here. I like a huge sofa. Okay. Then we've got this. This right here, like I said, is um, a twin. It's like an old antique bed thingy but I'm doing something with it it's pretty awesome but I've just got it hanging up there for right now there's my other sofas and now this sorry for the notifications this is the dining room this must be like the cellar or something it's the old house okay so this is the dining room up here is the fan with the light this is my dining room table right now. I'm going to be getting a really big dining room table, but this is what I have right now, and I'm blessed for what I do have. I still got some stuff sitting out, so my bad. Um, 
This is another board I did. This is my Prada board. I did that. And then we come back over here. I've got that. I love lanterns. I've got my huge lantern. These are all of my lights I haven't put up yet. Right down there. There's that. This is the kitchen. Those are my wine boxes. This is the kitchen. Right here. And what I love about the kitchen is that it's got those old timey sinks that are really deep and go all the way down. It's like straight up like that's porcelain. Like it's I think it's porcelain, but anywho, I'm gonna turn that off because it's really well no, I actually let you see it better. There's the door and then my porch is out here. Let me see if you can see it. Hold on. The light will come on. Okay, there we go. This is my porch, but you can't really see it. It goes all the way back, though, but you can't see it that well. That's my porch. Um, let's see. See the light? Okay. Then, these are like the entryways I was talking about, where it like, it's an oval. I love those. See? Okay, this is the hallway. This is the kitchen floor. There's Maya's foo-foo's. Let me see. Maybe I should turn on the light. Okay. So these are the floors. And then this is the this is the only part that's carpeted. It's from here back. This is my bathroom. And like I said, I'm not done decorating yet. Then my owl towel. And this is actually like I just threw my um washcloth up there. But it's got one of those old shower heads. Look at that. Is that not crazy? It's like the old shower head. And it's got one of those old sinks. And this is not like dirty. It's like, it's porcelain. I mean, that's like the stain because it's like such an old sink. But I love it. I don't like the stain, but it's like a part of the sink. It gives away the history of it. I still got to paint that cord white. I only like one light up here because I don't like a lot of bright lights. So, and then the hallway closet, there's a light for that, and then up there is the attic, and you see this hall right here, right there, I'm not feeling that, but we'll get to it. Okay, and then this is the bedroom, I'm not going to show you what's on the right, because there's a bunch of stuff I haven't gotten to yet. This is my bamboo tree light, this is my bed, I haven't put the canopy up on it yet, because y'all know I have a have a canopy this I have to show you this right here right there that is hideous but what it is is this is like an old-timey heater well when the guy came out from the gas company to hook up the gas so I could have the gas fireplace going he came and he checked this out and he was like this is condemned he put the condemn tag on it. He said, call the rental agency. They'll have to have somebody come out from the HVHC or something. So I called the rental agency, and they're having somebody come out this week. Today's Sunday, so this, this upcoming week, to come out and remove this, get rid of it, and then patch up whatever little hole is on the wall. Okay, and so that's that. This is the bed. That's another window. The my little owls. This is another window. It's not bright in here. That's the only light I got. And it looks bright, but it's really not. It does have a window AC unit, but I've got my wonderful fan. <laughs> and it feels so good. But once again, I got to paint the cord white. I have to put the fan right here in front of the door until I can get me like a cute little door stopper. Because this door right here, this closet door, it doesn't shut all the way. So I have that fan right there because Maya tries to get up in there. Say, hey, Maya, where are Maya? I hear a bell. Then there's this right there. Those are some mirrors I haven't put up yet, my Tims. Say, hey, Maya. Say, hey, Aggie Nation in the house. Yeah, yeah. She said I'm over it. <laughs> These are all of my sheets. Like, I have a lot of linen, and it's all folded up because I'm like a clean freak. So this is it. This is the house. 
Now there is a front door as you can see, but I don't go through the front door. I just go through the kitchen door. And I've had several people ask me to do a video of the outside of the house, but that's not smart to do that. Only because it gives away where you live. Even if you don't give away the address, if there's somebody locally that, you know, for whatever reason, wants to do me harm or something, then if I reveal what the outside of the house looks like, they may figure out what street it's on. So it's just a safety measure. That's why I'm not going to record the outside of the house. A lot of YouTubers do not do that. A lot of them do, but a lot of them don't. It's just, it's just for safety measures. I don't have the money to pay security, so this is what we have, and I absolutely love it. I am so in love with my new place. And like I said, I'm going to get a huge kitchen table to put in there. There's my tripod. I love that tripod. Um, I got a lot of Buddhas around here. But it's, it's, it's just decor. Oh, and I, oh, this is my... I did that. That's my... Um, I did that by hand. That's my Starbucks thing. Then there's that. And I love to get like jar... Like, like bottles and put lights in them. And then we've got that right there, Jesus. And so, yeah, that's the leather chair. I love that leather chair. It's very expensive. Um, but, yeah, so this is what I have right now. I love to decorate, and I've still got a, I've got a ton of stuff that I have yet to put out. And I've even got some stuff hidden behind here. See what I mean? Candles. Cage lights, everything. That's my little hiding spot. <laughs> so anyway, this is the walkthrough of the new place. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. And I'm going to end this so I can pick it back up again and you see my face. Yeah. Holla! What's up, Baggy Nation? I hope y'all enjoyed the tour of the new place. Whew! Gots to be more careful. Okay. As y'all saw, I went to the hospital. They wrote me two prescriptions, one for penicillin and the other one for God only knows what. So anywho, all the pharmacies were closed this evening when I got back from the hospital, if I can even talk right. So I can't get any of the medicine until in the morning. Today is still Sunday. I promised y'all a home walkthrough. Y'all got it. But listen up. By the time this uploads, it could be past 12 a.m., which would make it into Monday, the 4th of December, which is this month. For all my hooked on phonics folk. I got a call. <coughs> Jeez Louise. That is so white. Jeez Louise. Ain't that white? I mean, I know I'm white. But anyway, moving on. So, I got to go tomorrow to get the medicine. To get rid, rid, rid of this freaking infection in my tooth. He said I'm going to have to be on it for a week before I can get the tooth pulled. Which freaking sucks because I want it out so bad. But then again, at the same time, I just don't want the pain. So if the pain can go away, then it's like, okay, cool. We can deal for a week. You know what I mean? So here's another thing. I don't have dental insurance. When I went PRN, um, for all y'all that don't know who the hell I am, I am Aggie Out Loud. This is Aggie Nation. Okay, so... When I went PRN, I lost my dental, but I got to keep my full health insurance. So, I went online and I was looking up all these dental insurance options, and they were all pretty pricey. So, then I found, I came upon, like, dental plans, which is totally different from dental insurance. And I called the, the 1-800 number, and... The guy was really professional and he was like, you know, a lot of people are actually changing from dental insurance, changing over to dental plans because dental plans cover 
about, if not more, of the same things that dental insurance does. I hope that came out right. All this insurance and dental confusing the hell out of me. <laughs> so, the only thing is, is it's like they have different plans and they're um, not partnered, but you know what I mean, with different major like dental insurance agencies, companies, whatever. So you put you, you and the good thing is is there's no monthly fee. Like with dental insurance, there's a monthly fee. With dental plans, y'all like that? With dental plans, it's only one fee. So you pay the one fee up front and it covers you for a whole 12 months. That's pretty sweet. So anyway, I get paid on the eighth of yeah, about to say this month, but I didn't already said that. So I get paid on the eighth, and he's giving me a call. This Friday on the 8th so that I can get this. And, um, yeah. I mean, I got to stay on this, this antibiotic for seven days. So by the time seven days is up, I would have been covered and good to go. <clears throat> I mean, I would still have to pay out of pocket, but it would be under $100. So, enough with that drama. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, my gosh. I totally freaking forgot. Oh, wait. Let me tell y'all. I want y'all to know how faithful I am. Can I tell you? Because I'm going to tell you anyway. I stayed up. I got a cold. <coughs> I, <coughs> Ew. I stayed up half the night last night for all y'all. In Aggie Nation. Organizing the hell out of my stuff. So I can do this freaking walkthrough for y'all video kind of thing. I don't even know what I'm saying. <clears throat> I did that for Aggie Nation. I showed enough did. And, and, when I finally did get some sleep, I woke right back up this morning. Thank you, Jesus. And I got right back to unboxing stuff because I told y'all I was going to give y'all a walkthrough. Now, I had a horrible tooth pain all day. Try going all day with an infected molar. Let me tell you, it ain't no joke. It will pull the Keisha out of you real quick. And if you African-American, it will pull the Becky out of you real quick. Yes, I can say it. So, I did all that with this aching pain. And all I had was some Aleve and some freaking ore gel, which does not last long. So, I wanted, I know this is a little lengthy, but I wanted to give y'all the walkthrough. And I'm sorry for the lighting outside of the hospital. They wouldn't let me vlog up in there, y'all. People are just weird about that. I mean, I could understand if I'm vlogging around some, like, secret service stuff. But this ain't no secret service stuff. This Aggie Nation, okay? Oh, what else I was going to say? And I totally forgot to get the name of the freaking company before I did this vlog. So I will have that in my next vlog. I told y'all in my last vlog that there's a company that contacted me and wants to sponsor my YouTube channel. My mind is just so gone because I've had like no sleep. So, I, they, they told me to go to their website, go to their company. And I'm like this because I got all this freaking ore gel in my mouth. And check out their products. <laughs> Notification. <laughs> check out their products. And get back with them. So I did. I, I did check out their products. And I did get back with them. However, this was right in the middle of me moving. So I moved in here on the 24th, and this kind of happened all up in between all that there. So, <coughs> I'm sorry for the cough, okay? It's all this stuff. <coughs> okay, we got it under control. So, I just don't know if it's good for Aggie Nation. And I'm just going to explain, and then I will talk about the company in my next vlog I don't know if it's good for my channel because they've got nice products 
but they are very expensive very expensive and I just don't know realistically how that's gonna benefit my channel I mean I've got the awesome thing about my YouTube channel is I get hit up and what I mean by hit up for the slow folk and it ain't nothing wrong with being slow it's okay I I get hit up I get emails I get text messages I get direct messages DMs from people all over the world it's not just in little Greensboro North Cackalack I'm talking about in other countries and other states and they're all different ages everyone in Aggie Nation I don't have just one fan base in the sense of like one age bracket I have I have freaking six-year-olds that love my channel all the way up to people in their 70s and they have and and these are people that come from all now of course six-year-olds ain't got no income but this come people in Aggie Nation come from all different forms of income but I just don't know how like how it's really gonna benefit do y'all feel what I'm saying now if it was something that an average person could afford but like this is really expensive stuff so enough with that I'm still looking into it it would be a great opportunity but it's not the only opportunity I have had people contact me in the past that have wanted to partner with me but I did not we could not come to an agreement on what they were wanting from from me and from this channel I'm not gonna draw this vlog out any any longer because I know this is gonna be a long ass vlog so please forgive me for that but then again I'm not sorry because y'all wanted to walk through and dang it I gave it to you now my tooth is really hurting right now this orange is starting to wear off just a little bit and I'm tired so I'm going to go bed or do whatever the hell I'm doing. Oh. I mean, I might as well. Or gel. Is it backwards? Or gel. Um, I'm just saying, if you want to sponsor my channel, or gel, I got you. Just, just hit me up on the DMs and we make it happen. Aggie Nation!